we know the mass of one atom of hydrogen is 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg. Now, when we convert this kg into grams, we multiply this by 1000. So, we get the mass of one hydrogen atom equal to 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 24 grams. Now, this amount contains one atom of hydrogen. So, the number of hydrogen atoms in one gram is 1 divided by this number. So, we get 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 atoms. Let's look at sodium. The relative atomic mass of sodium is 23. Again, the mass of one atom of hydrogen is 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 24 grams. So, we get the mass of one sodium atom equal to 23 times the mass of one hydrogen atom. So, we get 23 into 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 24 grams. So, the number of sodium atoms in 1 gram is equal to 1 divided by this number. So, we get the number of sodium atoms in 1 gram equal to 1 divided by 23 into 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 24. Now, instead of 1 grams, we take 23 grams of sodium. So, when we take 23 grams of sodium, this 23 in the denominator and this 23 gets cancelled. So, we get the number of sodium atoms in 23 grams equal to 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 atoms. Now, let's look at carbon. The relative atomic mass of carbon is 12. Again, the mass of one atom of hydrogen is 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 24 grams. So, we get the mass of one atom of carbon 12. So, this is the reference that we take most of the time. So, the mass of one carbon 12 atom becomes 12 times the mass of one hydrogen atom, which is 12 into this number, that is 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 24. So, we get the number of carbon 12 atoms in one gram equal to one divided by that number. Now, if instead of one grams, we take 12 grams, we get this 12 and this 12 gets cancelled. So, again in 12 grams, the number of carbon 12 atoms is 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 atoms. So, let's look at the three together. So, the number of hydrogen atoms in 1 gram is 6.02 into 10 to the power 23. Number of sodium atoms in 23 grams is again the same number. And number of carbon 12 atoms in 12 grams is again this number. So, this is a very special number which in chemistry is known as a mole. And this number you see is changing. The relative atomic mass of hydrogen is 1. When it is expressed in grams, it is known as the gram atomic mass. So, this is the gram atomic mass of hydrogen. 23 is the relative atomic mass of sodium expressed in grams. So, this is the gram atomic mass of sodium. Similarly, 12 is the relative atomic mass of carbon. When it is expressed in grams, this is the gram atomic mass of carbon. So, we get that in the gram atomic mass of the three elements, the number of atoms present is 6.02 into 10 to the power 23. And this special number is known as a mole. Now, this mole is not the animal mole which you may be aware of, nor is it the mole present on the face of your aunt. Instead, in chemistry we use this number mole because atoms are very small. They are so small that we need a really big number to represent them. And this very big number is 602 sextillion. That is 6.02 into 10 to the power 23. Now, different units we use every day to measure quantities like pounds or you generally use dozen, that is one dozen contains 12. A pair represents 2. Similarly, a mole represents 6.02 into 10 to the power 23. Mole comes from the Latin word meaning heap or pile. So, a substance can be re referred to as a heap or a pile of atoms and molecules. That is why we use this term known as mole. Now, 
when we say we have a pair of x we know a pair is 2 so a pair of x means 2x a dozen of x means 12x similarly mole is just a number a mole of x means there are 6.02 into 10 to the power 23x so mole like the other units is just a number so when we say a mole one mole of x that means there are 6.02 into 10 to the power 23x if a gadra number which can be represented as n a or l it represents the number of atoms present in 12 grams of carbon 12 we know 12 is the relative atomic mass of carbon when this number is expressed in grams 12 grams is the gram atomic mass of carbon so avogadro number is the number of atoms or molecules which is present in one mole of any substance so 12 grams of carbon means this is one mole of carbon so we know one mole is 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 particles So Avogadro's number is the number of atoms which is present in 12 grams or one mole of carbon 12. So this number can be used for all the substances, and this is the number of atoms or molecules which are present in a substance. Since this is only a number, it can be used for all types of particles, be it atoms or molecules. Let's see how. If we say one mole of oxygen atoms. that means one mole of oxygen atoms contains 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 atoms here we are talking of atoms that is one mole of atoms so since 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 it's just a number so in this case it refers to atoms if we are talking of molecules say if we are talking of oxygen molecules so one mole of oxygen molecules that contains 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 molecules so when we talk of one mole of atoms there are 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 atoms when we talk of one mole of molecules so one mole of oxygen molecules that can say contains 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 molecules so one mole that is this number is just a number it can be used to express both atoms and molecules let's recall so we had seen that number of hydrogen atoms in 1 gram is 1 mole that is 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 atoms similarly the number of atoms in 23 grams is the same number that is 1 mole and the number of atoms in 12 grams of carbon 12 is the same number that is 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 like this number is special these numbers are also special so these are the numbers that is the relative atomic mass which is expressed in grams so these are the gram atomic masses so the gram atomic masses are the relative atomic masses which are expressed in grams so for oxygen we know the relative atomic mass of oxygen is 16 when it is expressed in grams it is 16 grams so 16 grams is the gram atomic mass of oxygen like we have gram atomic masses we have the gram molecular masses when we are talking of molecules so for oxygen molecule there are two oxygen atoms each oxygen atom has gram atomic mass 16 so for the oxygen molecule we get 16 into 2 that is 32 grams so the gram atomic mass of oxygen atom is 16 grams and gram molecular mass of oxygen molecule is 32 grams so when we say that the gram atomic mass of oxygen is 16 grams we mean that one mole of oxygen atoms contains 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 atoms since we are talking of oxygen atoms so one mole will contain 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 atoms and that weighs equal to the gram atomic mass of oxygen which is 16 grams 
So the gram atomic mass of oxygen is one mole of oxygen atoms and that contains 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 atoms. Similarly, we have for molecules, if we have the gram molecular mass of oxygen equal to 32 grams. So now in this case, we are talking of molecules. Since we are talking of molecules, so one mole of oxygen molecules contains 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 molecules and its weight is equal to the weight of oxygen molecule. That is the gram molecular weight of oxygen molecule which is 32 grams. So this is the gram molecular mass of oxygen. So the gram ox the gram molecular mass of oxygen contains one mole of oxygen molecules which is equal to 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 molecules. There is a term known as molar volume which means one mole of any substance occupies 22.4 decimeter cube or 22.4 liters or in centimeter cube we have 22400 centimeter cubes at STP. So one mole of any substance occupies this volume at STP and that volume that is 22.4 liters is known as molar volume. The standard temperature and pressure conditions are defined by this temperature and pressure that is the standard temperature is 0 degree Celsius. In Kelvin we get 273 Kelvin. Similarly the standard pressure is 760 millimeters of mercury or 1 atmosphere. So the molar volume is the volume occupied by one mole of a substance at standard temperature and pressure. So for any substance at 0 degree Celsius and one atmosphere that is at STP the volume occupied is one mole and it contains 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 particles that is 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 atoms or molecules. If we take water, its gram molecular mass is 18.01 gram, nearly 18 grams, which is 18 ml, around 3.5 teaspoons of water. So this contains 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 water molecules. This was given by a scientist named Avogadro. And that is why this number, that is 6.02 into 10 to the power 23, is also known as the Avogadro's number. So let's recall, one mole of atoms, whenever we are talking of atoms, that contains 6.02, if the calculation is made further, we get 6.022 and so on. But most of the times, we use only 6.02. So one mole of atoms contains 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 atoms. And the mass is equal to the gram atomic mass of the element. Similarly, when we are talking of molecules, one mole of molecules contains 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 molecules. And their mass is equal to the gram molecular mass of the compound. And the molar volume is the volume occupied by one mole of any substance at STP. And this value is equal to 22.4 decimeter cube or 22.4 liters.